All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I trim my mustache. I've received multiple requests to make a video regarding this. And believe it or not, I've actually covered this topic in other beard trimming videos. But this video is going to be dedicated solely to the trimming of my mustache so that you don't have to wade through all the beard trimming process. Um, I hope that you can see everything all right. The light's going to be somewhat variable. Um, I'm going to do the best I can with the angles I've got. I don't really get the benefit of great lighting or even a great set. So if you have any questions after this is done, feel free to ask me in the comments below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Likewise, and if you have a beard, check out all my other beard trimming videos. You'll be able to get something out of that too. Many have. So here's what I want to share with you before I actually get into trimming, and that is that um, I have a, a, a beard that requires the kind of mustache you see right now with the exception of maybe taking it a little bit higher above the lips, which is what I'm going to do because I like to taste my food without tasting my hair. All right. I'm not going to take it and, and crop it closely to the skin. That wouldn't look good for this kind of a beard. As you can see, it's pretty full all the way around because that's what I like. I, and I'm going to grow it even larger. That's what I intend to do. At least I'm, I'm free to change my mind, but I have no plans right now of when I'm going to be trimming it perhaps clean it up a little bit before Christmas, but that might be about it. But uh, you want to have a mustache that's, mustache that's uniform with the rest of your beard if you're wearing a beard. Um, the guys that have the mustaches that are cropped really close to the skin, those look good, but if, you, if you'll notice, they also have beards that are faded on the side, okay, where you can actually see the skin through them. That's not how my beard is. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the mustache a little bit, take off some of the bulk um, on the top, and I'm going to get the I'm going to get the trimmers just above the lip line. All right. Um, so here's here's what I have. I have a Remington cordless. Uh, I guess it's a mustache beard trimmer. I've had this for forever, really. I don't even know what model it is. So if you're going to ask me in, in the comments below. What model this is, I don't know. I just know Remington makes this. There are actually far better ones than this. This is probably just a cheap model because I can't even remember when I got it, for crying out loud. Um, but it came with a set of guards, and the only one I'm going to use for my mustache is a number three guard. If you're going to wonder what a number three guard is, it's a nine millimeter uh, guard. So here's how I start. I'm actually going to take this guard. I'm going to stick it on onto the uh, the trimmer itself and I want to note I want you to note here that there's something I do not do not do that I'm not going to do and that is I'm not going to take this in straight like this I've done that before I don't like the I don't like what it does the hair I don't like what it does the mustache it doesn't make it look even I know it seems like it would but in my in my experience it just hasn't so what I do is I, I approach my mustache much like I do my beard and, and uh, if you notice in my previous beard videos, I'd go down like this, okay? With the grain, with the back of the trimmers. I hope you can see that. With the back of the trimmers on the face. So I'm going to do that with my with my mustache. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm only going to go to right here where the cheek line meets the mustache. I'm not going to go any further than that. All right. Now it's not it's not grossly long right now, but um, what, uh, what I'm doing is I'm getting off the uh, just the bulk off the top that I don't want. It can get too long. I don't like it to where I can feel the hair start to tickle my nose. Next, next what I'm going to do is I want to get it established above my lip line, and so I'm going to I'm going to try to create a straight line across by somewhat smiling. I didn't make this up. George Bruno is the one I learned this from. Uh, he does it just a little bit differently. I just can't get it to work exactly for me the way he does. So, so George, if you're watching this, please forgive me. I'm not trying to desecrate uh, your method here, but um, 
here's what I do. Try to make a straight line with a, with a smile of some kind. And then it's kind of important to keep the mouth open. I go straight in. Ooh. Man, a lot of hair on my lip. Now go to the corners of the mouth. And then, good lord, I should have brought a brush in here with me. Ah, that's a lot of hair on my tongue. I'll try to finish this video that way. Then what I do is I'll take the trimmers and I'll go this way and I'll go this way with it. Just the corners of my mouth. And I try to bring it down. Like that. It's not too bad. I got pretty much where I want it. Now, here's something to keep in mind. Man, I didn't realize my mustache was I had grown out that much. So anyway... It's also important to keep a little pair of scissors on hand because sometimes up underneath, right next to the lip, underneath the mustache, is where you, a lot of people miss. So they they trim all this up here, but they're not getting what's here right above the lip, and, they, and then some hair still remain. I have managed to not do that too badly, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go along the lip line. I don't really have any cut. It doesn't look like look I got pretty good. First, first sweep. Okay. Now, another thing I do is generally when you're doing this, when you're going straight in like this to to go across the top of the lip, um, you're you're pretty much looking straight in. Then what I do is I put my head down like this, almost as if I'm looking out of the top of my eyes, and then you can start to see the hair on the top of your mustache kind of sticking out a little bit. It's weird how it does it, but it, it does do it. And then what I do is I, I look at my mustache like this, and then I kind of get the mustaches, that, I mean, the hairs that are leaning out over the body of the mustache. Still making my straight line. And really, it's, it's, it's pretty much that easy. The only thing, thing left I want to do is um, is if I see any hair still sticking up to where they can actually touch my nose, I will sweep it. But you gotta be you gotta be so careful. I mean, you can't you gotta have a steady hand. You just kind of want to get like the ones that are sticking out at the very top here. Watch this. Okay, it's really that simple. It's just that simple. And then uh, the, now the mustache is looking pretty decent. Am I missing anything? When I'm looking straight in here, it looks a little bit whacked, but I'm looking in the mirror and it seems okay. I mean, you might have to make a few adjustments, a, a little bit of a modification, but it looks like everything is as it should be. The only thing I'm missing is my brush in here, which I can't believe I missed that. So I'm dealing with hair in my mouth. You're watching me pick hair off my tongue. It's not what you tuned in for, I'm sure. But um, the only thing left, I would say, uh, is to keep your mustache looking nice, is to use a good mustache wax. And I don't have a handlebar, so you don't always necessarily need it for that, but to, you might want to lay it down a little bit more, even with a little bit of mustache wax and the kind I've got on hand is this artist man orange grove I'll put a link in, I'll put a link below for that um, rub it around your fingers a little bit let it break down 
It's a lot like beer, a beard balm, but um, it's a little bit harder. And it smells so good. And that kind of keeps it a little bit cleaner. Now, mind you, after you do get done trimming your mustache, you need to keep a, a brush around to brush it off your lips. Don't do what I did and forget it. Now, I will tell you, while you're doing your mustache, another thing you need to be checking on. I mean, you guys really need to keep up on this. You, you can't imagine how much I see this. And I, I find it absolutely uh, uh, unattractive is, is nose hairs. Are you guys trimming your nose hairs? You need to be. And for this, for this, uh, for this trimmer, you, you have a removable head. And it has a fitting you can put on it for your nose to trim your nose hairs. And um, looks well, like this a little trimmer, a little uh, thing in the top. Make sure you get in there when you're after you trim your mustache. Get in there and clear the forest. It's not hard, but if you think that women don't see this, if you think that. Women are turning a blind eye to that. You're wrong. They do. And just kind of go over it. Why is it too bad? But you don't want nose sticking out of your hair. You know, you don't want your nose hair so long that they blend in with your mustache. But honestly, guys, there's just not much to it. That's about all there is. And now you can see my lips. Not that you really care about that, right? But my wife might. And uh, I like tasting my food without tasting my hair. I like what I'm doing right now. I hope that's helped. I hope that you've um, found that to be somewhat profitable. If you have any questions, let me know. Just remember a few pointers just to rehash. A few pointers. Do, do not use, in my opinion at least, do not use the trimmer with the guard going like this if you want it to lay down nicely all uniform what i found out with this when, it, when you go down like this is that some of the hairs are shorter up near the top than they are the bottom they don't they don't all lay down like they should it's just it just doesn't work out that well in my opinion so that's how i trim my mustache i hope that it's helped and um you know let me know what you think if you've tried it out I know it seems like I should have more to say, but I don't because it's just that easy. All right, guys, I've enjoyed it. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and um, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.